one of my friends works in the construction industry he regularly takes up different jobs to do uh, small uh, maintenance and creation in construction industry and he has to keep track of the days like when the job started and when the job ended how many days of work was required now he only wants to calculate the working days not including the saturdays and sundays so he came to me and asked me for a simple tip and how to do this so actually this is very easy to do in excel and today i will show you how to do this hey guys my name is vinay from excelchamp.net and today in this video let me show you a quick tip on how to find the difference between two dates especially looking at only working days so here is a file where we can see the project the manager the start date and the end date of this job and if i want to calculate uh, the difference between two dates what we can do is we can simply subtract because dates are actually stored as numbers in excel so what we can do is we can just click on the ending date subtract the starting date d2 minus c2 i press enter and you can see that this takes 13 days 14 minus 1 is 13 and this is the difference between the date since i told you every date if you change the format to general it will convert to a number every date is stored as a number but it looks like a date because we can choose to format it like a date so you can choose different formats like do you want the dd mm yy or depending on your computer setting we can choose a different format anyway a uh, date is a date and uh, you can even choose uh, long dates or shorter dates so how do we change it if let us say you want the answer to be 14 days because you want to include all the days 1 and 14 inclusive in this case you can then add a plus 1 so it will become 14 days but if you look at the calendar you can see that in february when we started the work first was a tuesday and tuesday wednesday thursday friday these are the four days then 6 7 8 9 10 um <clears throat> and until 11 this is seven more days and the job finished on the 14 which was a monday so five days of second week four days of first week is nine days and one we want the answer to be 10 days this is not possible by simply subtracting so any of these dates if i copy down they are taking a complete total from the start date to the end date plus 1 this is our current formula so this is not working days instead each i should change it to elapsed days this is the days in between if you want only working days then what we can do is we will use a simple function in excel called network days network days takes two arguments the start date and the end date so it works the other way by using a subtraction so you need to use the start date first comma the end date and that's all we simply close it and you can see we got the 10 days as we had calculated so when you copy down you will see only working days here so monday to friday are considered working days and the saturday and sunday is not counted so you can see this is a pretty simple tip and i am sure it will help you save some time if you haven't liked the video or subscribe to the channel yet please do it right now and if you click on the bell icon you will be notified of new videos as i uh, create them and release them on the channel 
Thanks very much for watching guys. All the best for your support.